past eight days, the Notre Dame men's basketball team has dealt with a gut-wrenching defeat at the hands of Ohio State, the loss of their best player, Jaron Grant, due to an academic matter, and the end of Cameron Beadshide's time with the program. Besides that, though, everything's just been peachy for the Irish, who are back on the court today, playing their final non-conference game, hosting Canisius. Slow start for ND, but Zach August gave him a spark. The rim rocker there, part of a 12.8 rebound outing. The Griffs, though, led at halftime 33-31. The Irish played all nine available guys early and often. Some combinations we haven't seen all year. That's V.J. Beecham, the freshman, getting in on things with a three. Then Steve Astoria, another rookie with a bigger role today, also hits from long range. ND takes the lead 56-54. Eric Atkins, so much falls on the senior captain's shoulders now. He had a huge day. Beecham knocked it loose. Atkins in there for the layup. But any time Canisius needed a play, they got one from Billy Barron. His father, Jim, is the head coach and actually a former Digger Phelps assistant. Barron went for a game-high 33, and that sends it to overtime with that and one play. In the extra period, Garrick Sherman came alive, the bucket and the foul. He had 17 and 10. And then the Irish up one in the closing seconds. No grant to take the final shot anymore, but Atkins was up to the task, buries a triple to finish off a career-high 30 points as Notre Dame holds on for the 87-81 victory. It does feel good to get, to get this win. Um, you know, I think we were, this, this group has gone through a lot this, this past week, um, you know, with all this news and everything. But, uh, you know, to finally get on the court and get a win, um, you know, I, I think it's great for us, you know, mentally. I'm extremely proud of our group. Um, we were, we had some lineups in there uh, that we never had close to in a game and guys delivered. I think it's very fitting that Eric Atkins, given the week that we've had, would just say, you know, I got your back, I'm gonna carry us. Next up for the men, the ACC opener against Duke on Saturday. Meanwhile, out west, the number two Irish women had to fight off Oregon State. Notre Dame trailed at halftime for the first time this season before winning 70 to 58. Kayla McBride had 20 points, Natalie Achanwa 16 and nine boards, and they will be back at home versus South Dakota State on Thursday.